Hi, this is Bishop Brickstick of the Diocese of Knoxville, but I guess you already know that. In fact, I say that every year. I'm so pleased that I have the opportunity to be with you this weekend as we speak about the annual Bishop's Appeal. You know, the reading we have today from Corinthians, it's a beautiful reading. How often have we heard this reading at weddings? Love is patient, love is kind, and the list goes on and on. St. Paul did an extraordinary job when he wrote to the people of Corinth. The mission that we share in the world is this, one spirit in Christ tells us that it is not about us, it's about others. See, I don't ask for your help for me or for the diocese, the this, this structure that we call the diocese. I ask your help for those that we serve. For people like Gabby, who is an undergraduate at the University of Tennessee. You know, the university years are a critical time for young Catholics to stay connected with the faith and to continue to grow in the relationship with Christ. Catholic Campus Ministry offers students the tools and the inspiration they need for a lifelong relationship with Jesus Christ. So that with all the temptations that surround them, they can still be centered on Jesus. So the Bishop's Appeal serves people like Abby. Or how about Joseph, who's a resident of Samaritan Place? As a senior who is no longer able to live on his own, Joseph finds a home through Catholic Charities. Catholic Charities serves the hungry and the homeless, the young and the old, the struggling and those who are seeking, those who desperately need our help. And so, the Bishop's Appeal serves people like Joseph. Are people like Wojtek? Wojtek is a seminarian studying for the Diocese of Knoxville. He's from Poland, and I often kind of tell others that he's kind of a, a gift of St. John Paul. You see, when Cardinal Zivich was here for the dedication of the cathedral, he was so impressed that after leaving Knoxville, he went to Chicago and he met this young seminarian from Poland who wanted to study to be of service to the people of the United States. And Cardinal Zivich was so um, impressed by the Catholic Church in East Tennessee, he recommended to Wojtek uh, to go study for this diocese. Wojtek came by for a visit at Easter time and he was so impressed that now he, he seeks to be a priest of the Diocese of Knoxville. And we have many other seminarians. Right now we have 12. And also in the diocese, we have 10 new priests who have been ordained in just the past three years. Our growing diocese depends on an abundance of holy, loving, and faith-filled priests that we can trust. The Bishop's Appeal serves people like Wojtek and our other seminarians. How about for patients of St. Mary's Mobile Medical Clinic? The mobile clinic provides quality, free medical care in areas where there is little or no access to available medical facilities. For many, this is the only doctor they will see during the entire year. The Bishop's Appeal helps provide for the patients of St. Mary's Mobile Medical Clinic. Or how about couples like Pedro and Brittany Garcia? who strive each day to keep Christ the center of their marriage. Through the support from the Bishop's Appeal, marriage is celebrated throughout the diocese with special retreats and bilingual celebrations of marriage masses to build a strong marital and family foundation. So critical in our day and age. You see, these are just a few individuals, but there's so many others who depend on us. They depend on the help we provide each year as one spirit in Christ. I know it's a very difficult time in the church, but we remain strong as the Catholic Church in East Tennessee. Please know that I really do share the anger and the hurt and the pain and the confusion that many of you are feeling in your heart. Disappointed in church and church leadership 
As I said, many of these um, actions um, existed way before I was a priest or before I was a bishop. And so I do share with you that anger. But I also know that there are people that are around us with needs. Please join me in helping them. Christ's message of healing and hope is needed now more than ever. So as St. Paul reminds us, it's about faith, it's about hope, but especially it's about love. But the greatest of these is love. I thank you for this opportunity to speak to you. I pray that you will again be generous. And God bless you.